Hello everybody, welcome back to Bioshock. We are going to become a big daddy. All we need is a pair of boots from the library. I don't know where the library is. Here is where you'll be finding the voice box to have sound like one of those big daddies. God damn it. Okay, the the cops are gone. Now we now we gotta sound like now we gotta turn our voice into the like a big daddy's. Give him that voice. There we go. We upgraded our chemical thrower, which we never use. Was that all that was back here? Was that? Oh, hi, Doc. Hi, hi again, Doc. Oh my god. Test subject storage. Have I been in here? I know that I gotta go to the libraries to get some boots. I just, I'm looking for the damn. Hello, Doc. Looking for, uh, you know, the voice thingy that changed my voice. Are you kidding me? That's over and done with.
It doesn't even make a noise. That's why the, uh... That's why it gets me. Plasmid prototyping? Look, it's another shark. Is there anything special about this area? No? Well then what the fuck? Live subject testing, here we go. Frank, shut your mouth. Alright, time to make it sound like a big daddy. Now he uh, sounded like a big daddy. Now we sound like a bigger daddy. Now we gotta go to the library for the boots. If I can find the library. I don't actually know where the library is. Who's thanking me? the library library fucking finally I found it found the fucking library Jesus Alright, where's those big daddy boots? Damage research too? We're a big daddy now. Uh, 
And now, uh, if we want to, we can go back to the rest of the, we can... If we really want to, we can go back to Medical Pavilion and, uh... Fuck around. Summon a little you sister. Need to bring them out of hiding and then they'll let you in the door. Go on, hit the vent with your wrench. Yeah, I gotta protect this. And better. It would mean very much to me if you would be gentle with the girl. My claim is Mercer. I don't see why they would have done that for me in the first place, but you know. Okay, in the next part, we are going, or, well, actually, in this next part, it's going to be in this episode, and it's going to be very difficult, because we basically have to play, pretend that we're a big daddy, and escort a little sister, hip hip hooray, hey, you changed her color, but you must protect her. I'm now Mr. B. Don't be a slowpoke, Mr. B. Angels don't make for slowpokes. She'll be fine. I'm gonna explore. Mr. Bubbles is looking around, little girl. Hurry, I'm hurrying. I'm sure you can. We are very close to beating the game, by the way. If you haven't realized. gonna stab this little guy
I'm just following you, little one. Don't be a slowpoke, Mr. B. Angels don't wait for slowpokes. Angels don't wait for slowpokes. None of that, Mister. Hurry, Mister B. I can see angels dancing in the sky. Hurry, hurry, Mister B. Hop, hop, Mister B. No time oh great. Watch out. This is the hardest thing to draw the attention of this flight. I know that. How about you hurry, you little shit? Is that the, I think that's the original bouncer from the beginning of the game, by the way. Um, and we're about to fight him, so, come on, bitch. Oh, he, 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 he was teasing. There's that poor Rosie. Killed my woman, my girl, my my daughter. Don't run! 
Don't hide up from, from me. Well, it's not my fault she walked in front of a damn turret. You can call for another at the best, but to lose even one. It's not my fault she ran in front of a fucking turret. That I don't think either of us knew was there. My little sister. I didn't know where she was for a second. You gonna harvest from this body here? Yeah, it looks like it. Hurry! The harvesting will draw the attention of this fighter. What are you telling me hurry for? Her? I gotta wait on her. Let's move on. Come on, let's move it up. Let's move it up. Let's move it up. Move it up. Hurry, Mr. Bitch. Okay, time to save and fight us a big daddy. I'm pretty sure this is the one from the very beginning of the game, if you remember. The one that was hovering over me in the in the body. Ouch. Me. No, no, my little sister. Honey, you're making this harder than it needs to be. I'd love to be able to get out of this corner. She stuck me in the fucking corner. Better for the girls to be with you. Better with you than alone. Alone in the crawling darkness. You stuck me in a corner, you bitch. That fight wasn't shit. That's a big ass turtle. Only the little ones can open Is there the fire door. in there? You must protect them. <laughs> that might be plenty for the work of scrubs and a pencil pushes. But I need more. Oh, I want a spice. Don't break nothing left to spice with. 
Frank's going crazy, by the way, if you can't tell. He's getting spliced up. Oh, poor kitty cat. We're very, very close to the end of the game. Our pain is nearby. You are reaching close now. There. You must use the needle of the little sister to drain Fontaine of his Adam. It is the only way to... Oh, we're, we're, we're actually about to fight Frank Fontaine. Got everything we need right here. What are you waiting for? Pick up the needle. Fontaine waits above. There will be no going back from here. Make sure you are ready to face him before moving on. Okay, this is the final battle of the game, boys. Is this it? Let's go kill Frank Fontaine, shall we? Now, I don't remember exactly how hard this boss fight is, but I do know that it's, it's rather, I don't remember. I don't remember if it was easy or if it was difficult or if it was hard or, or what. But we're about to find out. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. You were my ace in the hole. But you were also the closest thing I ever had to a son. And that's why this hurts. Betrayal, kid. Life ain't strictly business. <laughs> Our right, game was saved. Here we go. Alright. I'm gonna do it right. Oh, I can't save. Go! Go now! Hit him with the needle! Can I get it? Yep. Well, this is... So far, this is pretty simple. Just gotta dodge him. Okay, dude. It's enough. I'm gonna chill right here for a minute while uh, that alarm goes away. 
I'm gonna burn his ass. You think you got a shot at this? Really? Barely getting started. Already? They offered you this city. And you refused it. And what did you do instead? What I've come to expect of you. You saved them. You gave them the one thing that was stolen from them. A chance. A chance to learn. To find love. To live. And in the end, what was your reward? You never said. But I think I know. A family. Oh, And that was it, guys. That was Bioshock. Uh, because I decided to save all the little sisters, is there a way to skip this? Okay, so that that was Bioshock. Um, it's one of my favorite games of all time, and it still is. Even, jeez, uh, when did this game come out? Twelve years ago? Thirteen years ago? Yikes. Um, this game's 13 years old, and I think I was 13 when I played it, <laughs> to be honest. I, I think it's actually, I think I actually was 13 when I played this game. The first time. And, um, well, I just, I, I got the good ending. There is multiple endings to this game. There, there's a bad ending and a good ending. And I got the good ending because I rescued all the little sisters. And I also just beat the game on the hardest difficulty without using any Vita Chambers and a lot of good shit. So, I wanted to, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through this whole thing and uh, experiencing one of my favorite games with me. And uh, here's to the next one, to the next adventure. I'll see you guys, I'll see you fuckers there. Later.